Hi, I am Hossein Hariri and this is a video from Zal Yafta Academy www.zalacademies.org Check the description of this video before starting to watch it. If you are using a computer, the description is at the bottom. Click show more to see more of the description. If you are using a tablet or a mobile, click on the little arrow at the bottom right to view the description at the bottom or on the right of the video. This video is related to the lecture note in topic 4. We would like to use the first function T4E1 because the output is directed to 4 cells we have to reserve four cells first, like this, and then say equal T4 E1, and then choose the input, which is this row. Once we have done that, we hold the keys shift and control at the same time, and then enter. That is the result. And as you see, 4 is added to 3, which is 7. 3 is added to 9, which is 12. 2 is added to 5, which is 7. And 1 is added to 7, which is 8. Now, let's see if the input is in a column, what will happen. Again, let's reserve 4 cells in a row and say equal T4E1 and then pick the input as a column and then hold shift and control and enter. We will get the same answer. So it doesn't matter whether the input is in a row or in a column. Now let's work with the second function which is T4E2. Because we have used the worksheet function transpose in there, the output will be directed to a column rather than a row. So for that, we have to first reserve four cells in a column for the output and then call equal T4E2 and pick the input here, hold shift and control and enter. We will get the same numbers. Now, let's see if we call T4E2 while our input is in a column, what will happen? Again, do the same, equal T4E2 and then pick the input hold shift and control and enter. We will get the same answer. 